This little video is going to show you how to download data flash logs from the 3D Robotics Solo, otherwise known as BIN file. This demo uses Bitvice on Windows, however PuTTY, WinSAP, and other secure socket programs can be used. First thing you want to do is connect to the Solo Wi-Fi. Once you've connected to the Solo Wi-Fi, open up your Secure Sockets client program. A note will be connecting to the Solo itself, not the controller. The Solo's IP address is 10.1.1.10 on port 22. The username is the same root, and the password is down below. Uh, once you've connected to the Solo, you'll open up your terminal program, and you're going to run the Python script loadlog.py space latest. Notice there's a capital L in the word lo uh, log. This will open up the latest uh, binary data flash log from the PixHawk and download it to the Linux computer storage. Now, once you know the latest bin file, like this one, you can notice it's uh, file number 211. You can download specific files with the command loadlog.py space and then the number of the log file you want to retrieve. We're going to retrieve file number 203 here. Once a log file is downloaded, you can go and download another file. However, I always have problems after about three to five log files. There's an error, and you need to reboot the controller in Solo and, Solo and start all over to get another three or five log files. Once you're done retrieving the files that you want, you can exit out of your terminal program, and now you need to open up your secure FTP program. On the right-hand side, you can see where it defaults to. I normally need to go up two folders to get up to the root uh, folder. The folder you're looking for is called Logs. Open up the Log folder and you'll see there's numerous log files available for you and most of these logs are also available on the controller but now the bin files or the data flash log files are also there. You can see we have the uh, three bin files already downloaded, uh, 211, we for some reason we have 210 but it's empty, and we have the 203 file. We want the 203 file, so we're going to transfer that from the solo uh, Linux computer to my local computer. So now I have the 203 bin file, a data flash log file, on my computer. I also like to delete those bin files out of the Linux storage. Uh, there's no reason to have them there anymore. If I do need them, I can always download them again. But they're on my local computer, so I have them for storage. We're now done with your Secure Sockets client program. You can log out and close it out. You'll then open up Mission Planner uh, for Windows. Uh, APM is for Macintosh. Uh, once you've got Mission Planner open up, you're going to go to the tab there for the data flash logs. And you can review uh, the data flash logs or do an auto analysis. We're going to go ahead and open up and go find that 203 data flash logs. Uh, in my case on Windows, it went to the logs file into documents, and there's my 203 bin file. It'll take a few seconds or a minute, depending on the size of your file, to open it up. Once it opens up, you now have a screen where you can actually go and look at the different parameters and numerous statistics on your flight uh, that can be used for diagnostic. Uh, you also have a couple of automatic diagnostics that you can look at. Here we're looking at some vibrations. I think we're going to go look at the battery uh, condition, battery voltage uh, out during my flight here. You also have the option to show the telemetry or the map on a Google map and you can see I was doing a cr pretty crazy flight on this one. So the data flash logs contain more information than the telemetry logs but they're a little harder to get currently. I use these data flash logs for a few other programs, and to do that, I need to convert them to log files. Uh, there's a button there called PXV bin to log. Uh, click on that, then you can select which bin file you want. It'll save it to a, a plain text log file, which I use for a drone log book, or I can also use it for dashware. And now we see we have the bin file, plus we have the log. So you look at the log with a regular text editor. Now you can see what's in there, and this file is easily read by third-party programs. That's about it. Have fun and safe flying.